Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. So Unit 3 is here and with it brings a fun spectacle of severely long topics of great difficulty. I mean, that isn't going to stop me from making each topic in under 3 minutes, but still. This topic is a nice and easy start to this unit, talking all about periods and math. So for a graph to be periodic, it has to have a continuous cycle of the same pattern happen over and over over equal length intervals. This unit staple is sine and cosine graphs, which are by all accounts periodic graphs because they continue going up and down all the way to positive and negative infinity. This means the graphs are continuously repeating a cycle of the same pattern. A period is how long it takes a graph to complete one cycle. The way to calculate this on a graph is to find the horizontal distance between two maximum points next to one another, or calculate the horizontal distance between two minimum points next to each other. So for example, on the standard sine graph, the period would be 2 pi. This is because in the length of 2 pi, no matter where you look on the graph, it is completing one full cycle of its pattern. But don't be fooled, graphs don't look all perfect and nice like this all the time. Some period graphs can look like this. It's still a periodic graph though, because though the pattern might be strange, it still repeats the same pattern over equal length intervals. And if you were given a period length of a periodic graph and asked to continue drawing the graph, you can do this because you already know the pattern that needs to be repeated. Just remember that a period is a full cycle of a graph's pattern and you'll be fine. On the screen now are some AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the work and answers on the screen now. Please follow all my socials and I will see you in the next one.